Hey everyone, my name is Brian Williams, and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't waste your money purchasing the Core i7 variant of the new Surface Pro 3. At least not yet. I mean, it's always possible that Microsoft will solve this in the future with a firmware update. The problem is throttling. Uh, what throttling is, when the system reaches a certain state, it slows itself down. Uh, there have been a lot of great articles with lots of demonstrations showing this, uh, and I'll link those below. Right now I'm doing my own little demonstration using Prime95 running in the background. Uh, it's a great way of uh, throwing it into the state quickly. You can see right now thermal throttling kicked in once we reached 90 degrees Celsius. But you can see that power limit throttling has been on from the very beginning, keeping the system at 17 watts. This model of the Core i7 is allowed to go up to 25 watts and nearly up to 2.9 gigahertz, but this artificial 17 watt limit is holding us back at 2.1 gigahertz. So back to what I was talking about earlier. When we reached that 90 degree temperature, uh, we traded the power limit throttling for thermal throttling. You can see that in the chart above. And even though thermal and power limit throttling are engaged, we're holding steady at 17 watts and 2.1 gigahertz until wait for it so after running at 17 watts for a minute and a half the system decides it's time to cool off and disables the thermal throttling re-engages the power limit throttling but drops the TDP down to 13 watts which in turn turns to 1.8 gigahertz a sudden large drop in performance at this point, all that extra money that you spent on that Core i7 is now useless because it will continue to drop the TDP all the way down to 8 watts, um, leaving your system pretty much no faster than the base $800 i3. And I'm going to fast forward a few minutes to show you that it drops all the way down to 1.2 gigahertz. Current thinking is thermal throttling is our enemy. That if we can somehow avoid the 90 degree limit, we will be in much better shape. So I went ahead and looked at Intel's ARC page and see that this processor is rated at a max TDP of 15 watts. I'm going to undervolt the processor and severely limit its turbo boost to just 1.9 gigahertz and show you that's not even good enough. I'm going to fast forward through this again but you're going to notice that we stay far below 90 degrees actually we stay below 80 degrees so we never engage the thermal throttling on top of that we don't even approach the 15 watt power limit throttling uh, but for some reason at some arbitrary point the system decides that it's going to just decrease the total TDP again so even if we hold the system well below Intel's specified 15 watt limit um, at about 13 to 14 watts, if we hold it there for about three and a half minutes, the system will still choose to start to degrade performance. Again, all the way down to 1.2 gigahertz. Regrettably, even if we disable Turbo Boost entirely, if we keep the system at just 1.7 gigahertz, after some point in time, CPU throttling will still engage and bring the system all the way back down to 1.2 gigahertz. There's nothing that you can do about it. Essentially, anything you try keeping the system cool, keeping it underclocked, will always result in the system performing no better than the $800 i3 model. And on top of all of this, the same thing happens to the GPU. The GPU runs at about a third of its capability. For $800, the Core i3 model is pretty cool. It's great for email, web browsing, watching videos, playing casual games. Um, but if you're really trying to get professional level work done with Photoshop, uh, if you're trying to compile code, or if you're a gamer, um, this system is just not worth the money. This problem has been buzzing around in the forums for a couple of weeks now. Even a non-tech has mentioned it in their recent
recent i3 article. Dave over at surfacegeeks.net, a pretty diehard Microsoft fan site, returned his system because of this problem. He had just the i5, and he tells a really interesting story in how he came to decide that this just wasn't the right value for him. All the while, Microsoft has been quiet. I think I'll give them a couple of weeks, but I have a feeling this is going back to the store.